Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudler. I'm Jesper de Jong. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Serundolo. And you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are. We're back in Madrid again. It's Emma Raducanu time. One more time. And she's up against Marta Kostyuk. That's right. She is a very, very good youngster herself. Been on the tour a lot longer. Hasn't had the uh, crazy success that obviously Emma had by winning a Grand Slam. But doesn't mean that she won't win one in the future. I want to say a quick hello to everybody else out there in the live chat. Great to have you in. We got May in uh, early. Must be Ben. <laughs> uh, I might get myself a little bit of a reputation here. May in early. Just got to check to see if this uh, other overlay I created works. Oh, yeah, it sort of chops off the corner of me a little bit, but that's all right. Not to worry. Right, let's go and have a look through quickly at some of these... Uh, Stats that we've been pro provided by tennisinfinity.com. Let's just have a quick look through some of these. Right. Okay. So this is, as you can see here, Emma Raducanu won her first match against Martin Sova. 7 6 6 love. Uh, it was Clara Towson on the receiving end of a bit of a beating. 
from uh, Kostyuk. It was 6362. And they've only played once before. And I think people will remember this one. It was in Cluj. Uh, and it was 6261. Uh, very, th- this was the one, if you all remember, we did cover it. And I remember the very negative body language from Emma on this. Uh, it wasn't very good. Remember, JG was very, very uh, uh, harsh, but maybe rightly so. It didn't look like there was a lot of fight, and Kostyuk sort of wiped the floor with her on that day. They've had both had something to uh, to say about uh, this match. Uh, let's just have a quick look at their record this year first. Uh, it's uh, six matches won in 2022 for Emma, 11 for Kostyuk, one Grand Slam, no titles between the, uh, in 2022 for either. 11th in the world versus number 60. But I think Kostyuk can really raise higher than that. Uh, she said, Raducanu is still very new on tour. She hasn't even played all the tournaments at times. I don't know what to expect from her because one match she can play really good and uh, one match not very good. Yeah, it's fair, very fair comment. Uh, and Raducanu said, all throughout junior, she was always the favorite when we played. She was considered much better. Yeah, it's a funny one. When we played last year, she played very good. But also, I wasn't very well that day. So it'll be interesting matchup. So there you go. She's saying that she had like some sort of sickness when they last played. The, the match has kicked off itself. I'm going to just take you through that. And it is Marta Kostyuk who is serving first. I will come to the live chat in a second. I'm just navigating my way around all of this malarkey. Just bear with me. There we go. Perfecto. Right. So 30 all. Right. Let's just go back up the live chat, see who's there. We've got Gene in. Lexi's in as well. Gene. Bill's in as well. Great to have you in. Almino cheering on Kostyuk. Well, no prizes for guessing. These, these are two of my favorite uh, female players, actually, on the tour, playing uh, in the same match. So it's, it's great for me, both the future of tennis, in my opinion. And we got Kathy in. Wow, gang's all here. Yes, they are indeed. If I haven't spotted you in there, feel free to drop another message in the live chat uh, and tell me who you think is going to win this one. So let's get into our predictions. Come on, get them in the live chat now. Just long there from Marta Kostyuk and it is juice already into the first game. Yeah, Bill. So yeah, you're right. Good news. One has to win. Yeah, I think in, uh, in my bracket, I had Radu Kanu going through in this one. Um, I noticed earlier on that Mugalutsa tumbled out quite feebly as well. Didn't really put up much of a fight. Got bageled in the second set. Maybe traveling the globe uh, isn't doing her any good. And she needs to stay put and now focus on tennis. Right. Just missed there. Right, let's go through some of these predictions. Emma in three with Lexi. I think I'm going for the same as you, Lexi. I think Emma in three is a very good shout. We've got Simon going Emma in two. We've got Amino going straight sets Kostyuk. Emma in two. Uh, Kostyuk from Jean as well. Jamie going with Emma in two. Who else have we got? We've got Emma Colby going with Emma in three. Uh, anybody watch Collins Andreescu? No, I didn't get a chance to see it. I was just caught up a little bit of uh, Layla Fernandez before this one. And I was watching Jack Draper earlier. Come on, the GB. Can we make it a, a double, uh, well, reason to celebrate? Uh, come, can we get the Radu Kanu and uh, Jack Draper double today? It's a break point here for Emma, but she's gone long on the backhand return. Right. Yeah, yeah, Daniel Collins got absolutely blitzed. Is does this mean Andreescu is back? That's my question to you in the live chat. Is Andreescu starting to find her form? But make sure, guys, if you are one of the 150 in, please hit a like on the video. I want to get to 100 as soon as possible. It's a Radu Kanu stream. That means we've got to get their great winner down the line from Emma Radu Kanu. She sets up another break point. Oh, Lex said you forgot Evans, Ben. Ah, oh, is he on at the moment? Did he did he kick off already? 
apologies. I've been sort of trying to, uh, I was trying to make a Cerebres Tormo button. I'm not going to lie, uh, but didn't even get this. The last match finished far too quickly. What happened with uh, with Dan Evans? Sorry if I'm being a bit rude. Oh no, he's just setting a break up. Come on, Dan. And that's bad because I had Dan Evans going out my bracket as well. So he's going to teach me a lesson. But there you go. It is a break straight away in this match. Emma Raducanu, this is showing the signs that she showed in the last match against Martin Sova. It looked very, very good. Just like that. Yeah, Almino confirming Evans is beating Del Bonis, upsetting a break up. Hopefully you can get it done. Right. Okay, Emma Raducanu's first service game of the day. Let's see how she gets on here. Right, forehand down the center of the court. It's really good depth, remember, there. And uh, forces the error from Kostyuk into the net there. Uh, I'm, let me know in the live chat which who's impressed you most this week because there's been some real standout performances. We had, obviously, a bit of a disappointing final earlier on in Munich. Holger Rune and van der Zanslup. Van der Zanslup pulling out with an injury in the in the final, unfortunately. And he was doing so well in the final up until the point of injury. But I think both of those players who made the final there, well done to her. They've been standout performers of the week. And that was obviously van der Zanslup and Holger Rune. But yeah, tell me your... You know, there you go. So we've got Secret Wars going with TFO and Angeliescu. But TFO and Corda as well. Yeah, some fantastic tennis. Really good. Great serving here from Raducanu at the moment. Yeah, Gary's in as well. Let's keep the good Emma Karma going. Yes, let's do it. Come on. Take it match by match. Uh, it's sort of opened up the draw a little bit now because I think she was due to meet Muguruza, potentially. And great forehand there down the line. She steps in, puts it away. That's what we're talking about. It is consolidation. <laughs> And you know what time it is by now. That's right. Right. Well, Kostyuk started off there with a good serve and then a good forehand to follow up. Really good hitting from her. And just as we'd uh, spoken about, you brought Evans to my attention and now Evans has been broken back and now he's 4-3 down in the second set. Maybe you shouldn't have told me about him. Yeah, somebody else we want to keep an eye on as well. Uh, Sebastian Byers into a final today against TFO. Who will... I think Byers has played a lot less time on court. He'll be looking to wrap up that Estoril title. But TFO, the crowd really like him there. Who knows? Just misses the first serve. Yeah, Gene saying Almino jinxed Evans. Yeah, possible. Good return there down the center of the court from Radu Kanu. Nice forehand to forehand. Oh, it's a big shank there from Kostyuk. There it is. Uh, 30 15. You can see the Ukrainian flags in the crowd. Obviously, Kostyuk's been one of the players who has spoken out quite, uh, quite a lot against some of the other players on the tour, namely the Russian players as well. She's wanting to see a lot more in the way of uh, them speaking out against the war. But I don't know. They're in a tough position, these Russian players. I don't like it for them. Right, double fault there from Marta Kostyuk. And Radu Kanu. There's a small little window here. Good return. Oh, no, it's not. It wasn't. I thought it was going to make it over the net. If it did, it would have been a dangerous one. It's into the net, though. Marta Kostyuk, 40-30. Right. Where's she going to pop this serve? Pops it down the center. Radu kind of gets it. Well, it's long from Kostyuk there. I, think, I feel like she's trying to out-hit Emma at the moment. Doesn't like the fact Radu Khan, who's come out onto court, hitting pretty strong 
forceful shots. Uh, it must be strange, yeah, getting bullied by the uh, the, sm the smaller girl. Good. Oh, it looked like a good serve that one. It must have just drifted uh, to the left of the service box. All right, second serve. Goes down the tee this time. Great return from Radu Kanu into the backhand side. Now she goes drop shot. Oh, it's clipped the net cord and just gone over. And it absolutely killed the ball. Perfect drop shot, really. And that's now a break point. Radu Kanu looking really, really good. And that was one of the shots I was sort of saying that she should incorporate more into her game, especially on the clay courts. I feel like she... She plays a lot of baseline rallies. I feel that she should try and just mix it up a bit. Good backhand to backhand there. Down the line from Kostiuk's got Emma on the run. Now she goes into the open court. Can Radu Kanu pass? She's gone for the lob. No, nah, she's missed it. There's a big, uh, big height on the lob. Just the, lacks the accuracy there. Right. And we've got DJ Ahora. Or Aora, I should say. It's more Spanish, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Good serve from Costa. Saying Emma's strength is her return game. When she hangs back, she can be a bit sketchy. Yeah. I'd like her to see her being offensive. But she's had break points in both of the Costa service games so far. Good return there from Raducanu. Backhand cross court. Good flat hitting from. Emma at the moment, really good backhand there, and it's unreturnable. She got a racket to it, but it only rolled towards the net. Strong hitting from Radu Kanu right now. Right. Kostiuk, good serve down the tee. That one's unreturnable itself. Yeah, Sebastian Byers has taken the break early in the final against uh, Francis TFO. Only other match plan at the moment is in the Madrid qualification on the men's side. We've got Hugo Delian uh, up a set and a break against Mackenzie McDonald. Goes with a drive volley, and there you go. Kostiuk does get it done, finally, uh, at the second time of asking. It is 2-1 early in this uh, first set. Emma up the break. Kostiuk the wild card into the event. Ah, quite interesting. All right, let's just have a look. I'm just going to go across to the other grounds again. If you haven't hit the like button on the video yet, then please make sure you whack that like button. Subscribe to Game to Love if you're new. Uh, yeah, looking through the draw, the winner of this, yeah, would have played Mugalutsa. Now they play Kalanina, who defeated Mugalutsa. She's knocked out Sloane Stevens and she's knocked out Mugalutsa now. So she's knocked out the who's who. Who would she really want to face in this one? Kostyuk Raducanu. So I say, if Raducanu's playing very, very well and hitting the ball the way she was. Uh, yesterday, or was it yesterday? Day before yesterday, and she started today. I don't know if that's the one I'd want to pl be playing. Quite dangerous. All right. What we got? Uh, well, we got Jamie saying, damn, no bagel, but a chance for a breadstick. Yep, there is still a chance for that. I wouldn't be looking too much into... Uh, the score at the early part of this match. I feel that there's still opportunity here for Marta Kostyuk to come back into this one. Some of the other matches that play today. Obviously, we had Andreescu, Jessica Bagula knocking out Kai Kanepi in straight sets. Then we had on the men's side, we had uh, Benoit Pair winning in the qualifiers against uh, Collier. Seems to just turn it on when he wants to, Benoit Pair, doesn't he? Nice forehand here, though, from Raducanu. And that's long from the return from Kostyuk. It's a lot of loose balls coming off of that backhand side of Kostyuk at the moment. She's going to have to need to... Well, she's going to need to tighten that up. 15 love. Yeah, we will be covering Osaka after this match. or If this match runs longer, 
then JG will just have to start the Osaka stream. All right, second serve here for Radu Kanu. Gets it in, down the tee. It's good depth on the return. She's loops that one up, and Kostyuk chose to go big on the hit and has just driven it into the net. That is 30 love. I think she's still yet to drop a point on serve, isn't she? I'm just going to have to check that quickly. Yeah, she still is. Good first serve down the tee. Now she's gone drop shot. It's not a good drop shot. But then she kind of brings her into the net, it seems. And, well, there you go. The lob. She got her feet in a twist there. Kostyuk trying to run back and do the uh, backhand volley or backhand smash. Uh, ended up pushing it wide. And it's 40 love. And still not a point dropped on serve. First serve. Good serve out to the backhand this time. She steps in. Just takes it on so early, and it's a it's another game to love. I think I missed the game to love on the first one, so I apologize. I was going through a few stats and stuff. So here you go. You can have one now. Yeah, well, another game to love, an impressive one, and it's back to you, Marta. 3-1 down. Hasn't really made an indent on a Radu Kanu serve yet. And has faced break points on both of her service games. Good drive volley there from Kostyuk. Radikan who's keeping it alive. The smash she can't get to, though. Very good smash from Kostyuk. Yeah, she's dinked it up. And uh, Radikan wearing that same outfit that Simona Halep was wearing, uh, where she knocked out Paolo Badoza yesterday. Maybe it's a lucky outfit. People wearing that outfit seem to be playing pretty well. All right, 30 love. Thirty love. Just into the net. <laughs> Everyone's saying don't curse. Emma sir, uh, Ben. Ben, Emma can hear you. Well, let's hope that she can hear all the encouragement. And there's a great return from Radu Kanu, And it's a loose backhand yet again from Marta Kostyuk. She really hasn't got that backhand going yet. And Wiener wants to know, will we finally get that Radu Kanu Halep matchup? Will they be wearing the same outfit if we do? That's the, that's the question. I'm guessing they would be. Good serve there from Kostyuk. Then puts away the forehand. 40-15. Yeah, you should never look uh, ahead of uh, your next, well, into your next opponent before you've finished the one you've got in front of you. Dangerous game. Good forehand return there from Emma. And such a loose forehand from Kostyuk. It's flown about two metres long. Uh, we had Jill Teichman. She made it through against Layla Fernandez. That was earlier on, just before this match. She made, did it in straight sets. Quite impressive. And she'll face the winner of Ribikina and Siniakova. Just see how that gets on. I have Ribikina in my bracket. So that's the that's the this top section. So the winner of this face is Kalanina and Ribikina, Siniakova versus Tyke or or either of them versus Tykeman. Nice backhand to backhand they go. Oh, she's looped it up, and Emma always attacks those, and she has attacked it. Now she's gone drop shot. Kostyuk's in. Oh, but with a better drop shot. And she holds her serve to 30. Very, very good. Well, Raducanu leads three games to two here in this first set. Apparently, Dan Evans has got the job done. Uh, I, uh, he's on match point. He must have got it done by now. Go on, Dan. You can do it. One point away from a 6-3-6-4 victory. Can he do it, though? That's the question. 
Let's hope he can. Anyway, and the, uh, Sebastian Baez in Estoril is serving for the first set. It's 15 all, 5 3 in that one. In some of the other, and yeah, and Dan Evans has taken it. It's 6 3, 6 4. So another good victory for the Brits here in Madrid. Seems that we've had the Draper, we've had the Evans. Can we get the Radu Kanu as well? We'll get the whole pack. They say good things come in threes, don't they? Was that bad things? Don't know. But let's just say it's good things. All right, they've got a bit of music pump in there. Crowds are sort of, I wouldn't say they're like jam-packed. They could be bigger. They could be bigger. Come on, let's get, let's get the love going. But yeah, if you are just joining the stream, I've said it once. And I'll say it again. Make sure to hit a like on the video. We're at 72 now. Only 28 away from 100. That's fantastic effort, guys. So, see, do you have the minerals to get us to, to uh, 100 before the end of the first set? That's the target. I'll leave it to you. That's your target as the viewer. Good backhand down the line from Kostjuk. It's a, she's saying it's a winner. Raducanu is going to have a look at the line. She's sort of marking it out. The umpire comes down. He disagrees, I think. I think he's saying it's in. Radu Khan is having a close look at it. Mm. Are they arguing about which line it is? Which uh, mark? Sorry. Yeah, it looks like they are. Well, he's just confirmed that it's just going to... Uh, well, is he giving it as in or out? No, out. There you go. Right. So, no, in. Sorry. <laughs> what am I talking about? Yeah. So it was, it was in on the line. But it was Emma Raducanu was wrong. That's all we need to know there. So, second serve here. I don't think she needs to spend time looking at those lines so much. Oh, and there you go. It's affected the, the rhythm of her play. A double fault follows. And it is love 30 after not dropping one point on her serve. The first point that she did drop, she just sort of just should have just accepted it, I think. But she didn't. Here we go. Love 30. Good serve into the Kostyuk forehand. Backhand down the center. Forehand's long from Kostyuk. Seems to be going so big. Almino's very confident there. It's in. Yep, it was in. I thought it was in. Matusa's run out. It's not good, is it? It was a little bit of an apple and mango uh, treat. Get a bit of sugar in me. Nice forehand there from Radu Kanu. It's nice long from Kostuk again. Oh. Oh, I need to focus on getting some smaller bottles of water, I think. Big old one, that. Right, 30 all. Yet another unforced error from Kostyuk. It's costing her this game at the moment. Good serve out wide from Emma. Good return from Kostyuk. Radu Kanu manages to hook it cross court. Good depth on the shots from both players. It's long from Kostyuk again, though. Seems that the longer that Radu Kanu stays in these rallies is at the detriment of Marta Kostyuk. Kostyuk can't seem to keep it in the court. And you see her box. It's one of them's not even watching, looking down. I don't know. I'm not sure, quite sure who that was. Good serve out wide to the Kost, Kostyuk backhand. She's got it back in the court. Now she steps in with a forehand. Radu Khan happy to play down the middle. Oh, it's a shank from Kostyuk. And that just sums it up, really. Another miss hit, another ball long. Just like that, 4-2, Radu Kanu. Right. Here we go. Chance here to break. If she was to break, she'll be serving for this first set. That would be... Well, quite quick as well. 25 minutes in at the moment. We're sort of flying through this. Obviously, Emma held to love twice in this first set. That was the first real sign of weakness on the serve. But it's just because she's got in her own head trying to check the lines too much. I think she just needs to ignore that as a double fault from Kostyuk. 
gifting Emma a little window of opportunity into this service game as well. So another fault on the first serve. Second serve. Backhand, great return from Raducanu. She tried to go down the line again. Kostyuk missed it. It's wide. <laughs> Bill was saying, is JG going to join us again for the last three points of the match? He's going to join us for a soccer, uh after this match. Or if it's still going, I don't know. But yeah, he will be uh, joining for the Osaka match. Go backhand to the Kostyuk forehand. Kostyuk just trying to keep them in the court. It's landing around the uh, service box line at the moment. Emma starting to sort of... Oh, it's long again from Kostyuk. She sort of looks to the heavens. She's smiling. She's saying that one was a bit closer, though, surely. But out again. And three break points for Raducanu. Right, everybody sort of trying to get behind Kostyuk a little bit here. Seems a little bit defeated. Good serve out wide, though, from Kostyuk. Drive volley, but it's down the middle. Ooh, Raducanu tries to pass, but it's had too much pace on the drive volley from Kostyuk. Jamie saying, I have a feeling that Emma will take set one. Well, I hope you've got the right feeling. Simon saying, JG will turn up as soon as Emma starts losing. Oh, hopefully uh, she, that doesn't happen then. I don't don't want uh, Emma to start losing. Right, well. Good, good hitting. Can she save two break points? Can she save the third? She missed the first serve. Raducanu, she's going to step in on the second. Don't want to see another double fault. That's the last thing we want. It's a good serve. Good return from Raducanu. Got great pace on it. She's really attacking it. Going The backhand seems to be the real weapon today, but good shot there from Kostyuk. Cross court now from Raducanu. Looped up by Kostyuk. Backhand. Drop shot from Raducanu. Kostyuk's got there. Can she pass her? She hasn't. She's hit it out of it. It's good enough. And it goes wide. The volley. It's a break for Raducanu. Just like that, Raducanu has broken again. She's got the double break. Can she serve it out? Get a nice swan in this first set. 6-2. Uh, in the other match playing right now, we've got Francis TFO. He's a set down against Sebastian Baez over in Estoril. Another match which is playing. No, there is no other match that's playing. I thought it was. It was Delhi, and he managed to get it done against McDonald. 7-5, 6-1, and he will now go through. Uh, I believe, is that the final round of qualifying? I believe it is. Yeah, so he'll go into the main draw proper. All the qualifiers are finished on the men's side. Goffan through, knocked out to Bio. Benoit Pair. Yeah, he's a knocked out for Collier and Nakashima in his qualifying. Delian's knocked out Mackey uh, and Krezi knocked out Fuchovic. And we are going to see Lorenzo Musetti. He managed to get past the Spaniard who knocked out Francisco Serendola, Molocanas. And we've got Lajovic. Surprise, Lajovic. He had a tough run as well. Manorino, Kabayas, Baina, obvious. And also we have uh, Kwon Soon. He's, he's going to be there too. So he knocked out Ugo Umber. Emma's back on court, serving for the first set. Messed up the ball toss. Not a good start. Good serve. No goes down into the Kostyuk backhand. Kostyuk trying to hit it a bit harder now. Emma's got some good looping shots that land just in on the baseline, and that's into the net from Marta Kostyuk. All right, 15 love. There you go, Almino saying, I disrespected Ben's queen, and this is what I get. Apologies. Hey, 
Be warned. <laughs> well, you never know. It's still the first set. Still the first set. Oh, there you go. Another point closer. 30 love. And we're serving down the tee. Oh, just long. Second serve. She hasn't dropped many points on serve here today. Only three. It's pretty good. Serves in. Good return from Kostyuk. Really got her on the back foot. Good backhand cross court. Emma keeps that one in play. And it's a miss hit from Kostyuk. She can't really handle the pace that Emma puts on the ball. Really good hitting from Emma. Really good depth. Kostyuk needs to get on her toes a bit more, I feel. All right. The crowd really starting to get behind Emma now to get this first set sealed. 40 love. Here we go. Good serve out to the backhand. Just looping that one up. And now playing it down the center. And Kostyuk with another. It's another shank. Where's that? Where are those coming from? Yes, Raducanu takes the first set by six games to two. Gene says, where's JG? He's had some family bits he's had to do this afternoon. So he'll be joining for Osaka. Uh, after this match has finished. Uh, it's not on the same court, but Osaka due to start 6 p.m. UK time, 7 p.m. if you are in Madrid. But yeah, let's go through. Obviously, that first set was very dominant from Aradu Kanu. Uh, she really, really did dominate her serve. I thought it was very, very impressive, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, let's just have a look at some interesting statistics for for Raducanu. Now, bear with me. I'll just bring some up now. This is nicely supplied by our friends at tennisinfinity.com. And let's have a look. These are some statistics. Emma Raducanu, after winning the first set in, and look at that, just spoke on the dot. Tennis Infinity now becomes our newest member of GTL. Really appreciate that, buddy. Uh, and as you can see here, Raducanu winning the first set in 2022. It says uh, there, look at that. I mean, I was won against Stevens after winning the first set. Lost against Savile. That was in that match that was nearly four hours long. Beat Garcia. Lost to Martic. Lost to Siniakova. Defeated Martin Sova. Sanders. Korpach. And Martin Sova again. So... How many more times is she going to get on the list? Uh, it's quite an impressive run. She's only lost, so she's only lost three when she's uh, won the first set this year, but she has won seven. So anything can happen. Still, Kostic's a really good player, but I'm just hoping that we're getting. There's just something I've been impressed with with Raducanu in this tournament. It looks much more like the Raducanu that won. The U.S. Open. It looks like she's got her confidence, and she's really hitting through the ball well, really playing some of her best tennis. And what you can't ask for more than that, can you? Really? Like, this is this is what it's all about. I see it, Lexi saying hello, Tennis Infinity. Welcome. Yeah, go check out tennisinfinity.com. Has some great news on there. Uh, and is supplying us with all of these great statistics and graphics as well. Uh, if you go over to our Twitter, you'll see them on there too. So really, really uh, nice, nice little graphic here. Seven wins, three losses after winning the first set. So I'll get the, uh, the scoreboard back up again. Just have a quick look at this. Da, 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 da. There you go. We're back again. So in the other match that's playing right now, Francis TFO in the second set with Sebastian Baez in the final of Estoril. And it is 2-1 to TFO in the second set. Sebastian Baez took the first set by six games to three. That's all there is to report at the moment. 
nothing else. We had another Brit who didn't have too too much luck today, which was Ryan Peniston. He lost to uh, Evan Furness in France. That was over in the Strava in the Challenger final. Uh, he was a setup. He went to a second set tie break. Unfortunately, he lost the tie break and ended up losing 6-1 in the third. Had a really great week, though, uh, Peniston. So well done to him. But well done to Furness as well. Good young French player. Right. Back on court they go. Kostyuk to serve first. There you go. Goal. Numa saying, got rid of Torben Belts. Improvement in play. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Going with the no coach approach. Maybe that is. Maybe that's the way forward. So other players have used it in the in the past. We got quality shot in. How are you doing, mate? Saying straight set win for me from from uh I can't even read. Straight set win for me now from here. There you go. Yeah, I'm not doing too well. May says she's figuring out uh May saying I've got I can send more. One of my recent clients needs two more tax returns doing. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Maybe you can come and do Game to Love's tax return if you want. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be uh, that difficult, though. <laughs> you know, I'm figuring the PayPal calculation. Oh, interesting. Oh, into the net. Another double fault from Marta Kostyuk. Here we go. 15.40 already break points. Amazing. I don't do British ones. Oh, okay. No worries. No harm in asking. <laughs> oh, she's fired wide, has Kostyuk. It's a poor shot. It's almost a sign of someone who's given up already. It's Radu Canu. Serving. Good serve out wide to the Kostyuk forehand. Now the backhand again down the line. L hooked. Nice looper. Good short one there. Good shot down the line from Emma. Don't think it's going to make the net. It doesn't. It's too good. Alex saying, Radu, can you predict her matches? Huh. I like what you did there. There you go. Eve saying, we're, talk we're talking about... Well, we're talking about Raducanu's coaching situation. Federer reached number one spot in 2004 without a formal coach. Yeah, I feel that Roger Federer is a high praise to be mentioned in the same sentence. Both Grand Slam champions, though. Oh, into the net from Kostyuk, into the bottom of the net, and you can see just her head seems defeated body language on the court right now. She needs divine intervention from somewhere to help her back into this match. We've got Kaz in. How are you doing, Kaz? One of our members. Did we make it to 100 likes? I never checked. Oh, we're five away. Let's try to get to 100. If you haven't whacked it yet, you can help us get there. And we've got Almino, a newest member on GTL. How are you doing? Thank you for joining, Almino. It really does mean a lot to myself and JG, the second new member in the stream as well. Tennis Infinity joining you. Uh, it's great fun in that membership. Throw in some emojis into the live chat, please. And there you go. A great serve from Radu Kanu. Seems like a walk in the park here today for Radu Kanu. A bit shocked, to be honest. I thought this was going to be a lot closer than it is, but it's another game to love. It's turned into a bit of a serve bot, isn't she? That sub is for the Emma disrespect. Yeah, that's right, Almino. Don't worry, mate. We know. It's just a bit of a maybe. It's just a bit of jealousy. I think just don't like the us having us Brits having like a, a good tennis player, or don't want our Brits to do well. Who knows? 
Maybe not, there's no Barty now. Maybe just come over to Radu Kanu's side, mate. There's plenty more uh, room for everybody else. There you go. Look at that. He's in the gang, the Radu Kanu. Lexi's joining as well. There we go. Love 15. Crowd trying to get behind Kostya. Jamie happy to love. Vamos. Game to love, Ray confirming. We love them here on this channel. Let me tell you that. Inside out forehand. Looks like Kostyuk took a bit off of that forehand. She still puts her arms in the air as if to say, I don't really know what to do at the moment. I, I, she doesn't want to hit through the ball. She keeps hitting everything long or shanking or it's not going her way today. There we go. Kaz firing all the Radu Kanu emojis in or emotes. I never know what they are. The Radu Kanu show, the Rafa show. Why not? Forehand cross court is just wide from Kostyuk. She's in close to throwing a racket then. She's not sure what to do at the moment. 15.30. Whoa. Good serve. Raducanu gets it back in. Good depth. I think that's the thing that's troubling Kostyuk is Raducanu is able to keep it between service line and baseline a lot. And she plays very well off of her. Uh, if you hit it very hard at her, she plays a really great defensive shots. Nearly comes back twice as fast. The backhand cross court is a great shot. She's opened up the court. Is she going to going to try and go the line? Oh, Kostyuk with a great shot. Emma with the slice drop shot. Kostyuk with her own one, which is better. Trying to G herself up now. Ray saying Kostyuk was a different player against Towson. Yeah. I've not seen Kostyuk play like this in quite some time. She nearly needs something to change. May saying Emma is Romanian, no? Uh, she has a Romanian father. Is it Chinese mother? Was born in Canada, but grew up in, in uh, the UK. So she's she's got a finger in many pies. Everyone trying to claim her. Oh, Kostyuk, another serve into the net. 30 all. This is a massive point for Kostyuk. If she gets broken here, then... It's pretty much game over. Massive forehand, Radu Kanu. Oh, my word. Where did that one come from? It, she literally is trying to put the final nail in the coffin for Kostik. If she wasn't feeling bad already, the pace that came back at, it's almost like she's just letting her know, by the way, you're going to have to hit good second serves. Otherwise, I'm going to do that. She gets the first serve back. It's break point. Backhand to backhand. Kostyuk playing it into Raducanu's backhand. Raducanu loops it up for a bit of a different pace there. And again, she's gone with the moon ball. Kostyuk goes with the drive volley, though. Puts it away. Saves the break point. Hey, mate. Cheers for that. Just seen, You've just sent in another super chat. Really, really appreciate that. I'll get that added to the top tippers ASAP. Let me see if it works out with the uh, conversion. I know you're always trying to get the conversion perfect. One second, everybody. All right. See, so you're right. Kostyuk serving anyway. Good. Nice. No, a loose forehand there from Raducanu. Oh, there's a ch chance of come on Emma in the crowd. No one wants to even see Kostyuk get back into this one by the sounds of it. Right, advantage Kostyuk now. Forehand. Long from Kostyuk. Yeah, again, she's wasted the opportunity. Yeah, and the chance for Emma coming out around the crowd. They want her to get this done in impressive fashion. Right, we had that on for you, mate. Let us know which player button you would like as well. I just want a podcast of Rafa buttons. Well, we can get the Rafa button on for you for sure. I'll get that uploaded for you, mate. Oh, it's double fault again from Kostyuk. 
Seems like she can't do anything right at the moment. And the crowd, I don't know if they're just feeling so. I think that they really want Raducanu to win. They don't really want to be that negative towards Kostyuk, but she's not really giving them much to play with. Emma looping it up, just asking Kostyuk just to go for it at the moment. She's hitting a bit tentatively. She goes down into the backhand of Emma. Now, oh, it's an inside out four and into the net, and it's another break of serve for Raducanu. Oh. Just like that, Raducanu, she has taken the double break in the... Yeah, there it is, Raducanu uh, doing everything she needs to at the moment. May, I, I saw you saying Amanda. Is that Anisimova Are you after there? You just want Rafa buttons. You can have a Rafa button, of course you can. Hey! And when you said Amanda, did you mean Anisimova? A hundred likes, says Carol. Cheers, Carol. Keeping me on my toes. <laughs> I saw May say Amanda. I'll give it to you. Just, just I don't know if that was who you were. Yeah, Nisimova. There you go, the Anisimova button. Not heard that one in a while. I do like it. Oh, good hit in there from Raducanu. The forehand down the line. Pretty unstoppable. And there, Tennis Infinity saying, King Kyrgios button is the best anyway. Uh, GTL Ben, GTL cheers. Look at that. Loving that. Tennis Infinity in the live chat. The guy providing us with some great uh, graphics and stats. Emma steps in, puts away the volley. All right. Nice forehand. Got Kostyuk on the stretch and then just an easy put away. Alex saying, does Tomic have a button? No, we've never covered Tomic on a watch along. So unfortunately, he doesn't have a button. Yeah, there's no Ribikina button yet either. I don't think we've covered her on a watch along. So that's something maybe could happen at some point, I'm sure. Maybe even this week. Who knows? Oh, Kostya getting herself on the board, at least, in this game. All right. Let's just go back. To, like On the other court, yeah, Ribikina is at th three love up in that first set against Siniakova. And Sebastian Byers up a break in the second set now. It looks like it's nearly done and dusted against Francis TFO. Poor old Francis, all the way to a final. Will he have any energy left for Madrid? Yeah, Felix has one. Yeah, both of these. Felix has one. Out. Uh, Gail, Felix, and TFO all have buttons. Yeah, TFO has the best buttons. <laughs> That's Kathy. There you go. All right, here we go. 40 15. Yet another good service game from Raducanu. Good depth on the return from Kostyuk. But, and now they go cross court forehands. Emma goes down the line, forcing Kostyuk into another error. And it is. It's for love. It's the consolidation. Yeah, we got Speedy Gonzalez saying, funny that the match predictor, 52%. Yeah, it's pre-match, that one. Uh, yeah. On having the wild card to beat the number ninth seed. 
May asking, do you know uh, do you know this? Is the Osaka match after this uh, or on a different court? It's on the other court. It won't start. It will start in one hour and 10 minutes on the other court. So just over an hour's time. Oh, because I don't want to be running when she was playing, so I've got to leave now if that's the case. Yeah, go on, jump out now, and we'll see you in an hour then, mate. But, yeah, have a have a good run. All right, Kostyuk serving, trying to get her first game. Winner from Emma. Great backhand. I really feel like this court suits her. Like I thought it probably would. Madrid, out of all of the clay court events, sounds like her type of surface. Yes, Lexi, I'm planning to cover Osaka too. Yeah, just wide from Raducani there. Yeah, see you later, May. Red Devil reckons. Simona winning in Madrid, in my opinion, could well happen. Could really happen. I thought I was really impressed with her against Badoza. I didn't wasn't impressed with by Badoza. I was very sad. I think the occasion got to her a bit. It's into the net from Raducanu, and finally Kostjuk on the board. Something tells me we should just give her a button. Just I don't know. Is it bad to give a pity button? But I feel like she needs a button right now. I'm sort of scared to press it just in case it gives her the kickstart she needs. Yeah, Patrick is an unreal coach, I feel like. Yeah, he really is a great coach. Yeah, and the Moritoglu Academy is a top. Yeah, go on then. I'll leave it up to you guys. Do you think Kostyuk should have a uh, a button or do you not think she deserves a button? I'll leave it to you. I'm not going to I'm not going to make the call. You guys can make the call. Carol says no button. Yeah, I know. Lexi says, I've got Badoza in my bracket too. Yeah, I know. Same. Red Devil saying pity play. Why not? So that's one on each side. Trollshaw says button yes. So that's two for yes, one for no. Oh, mate. Oh, so we got three for yes, one for no. Any more? Well, button if she avoids a breadstick. Go for it. We won't be seeing JJ until Jabur versus Benchich. Well, I think there's enough people trying to will Kostyuk to make a match of this. Go on, then. We'll give her one button as she held held that game. Here we go. Yeah, it's only a quick one anyway, so maybe it's just as well. <laughs> Don't know if a nice long button would have been deserved, but maybe it's that little smidge. Right, 4-1 Raducanu. Ray saying, Don't <laughs> encourage Marta. Oh, it's long on the forehand now from Emma. Not seen one of those so far this match. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? I might have destroyed Emma's chances here. Hope not. Hopefully she's strong enough to fight through it, but she's missed the serve. All right, second serve. It's a good one. Kostic really attacked that one, and it's worked, and it's love 30. Oh, no. <laughs> Gary's saying everyone should get a button in due time. Yeah, I mean, we give it to people just for encouragement. But I'm worried that I might have encouraged. Uh, Sebastian Baez has just won the title in Estoril. Well done to him. Good serve there from Raducanu. Stops the rot. Jane and that damn button. It was only a short one, but it meant Emma went off the boil a little bit there. Yeah, Eve saying Emma should not lose focus now. I agree. The button jinx, same Ray. The button has betrayed us. Oh, no. It is 15.30. 
Holger Button soon. Yeah, there'll have to be one coming soon. Whenever we cover him, uh, I'm sure there'll be one coming probably on the next tournament or something. Yeah, Bill saying, oh, oh, Ben, now you've done it. I know. Oh, four hands long from Costa. It looks like she's back. <laughs> back to normal. Normal service resumed. The button can only do so much work. It normally helps a player play better, not their opponent play worse, though. Jamie's saying we should not have showed the button. I know, I know. All right, serving. 30 all. Good, sir. Oh, it's an ace from Raducanu. Oh, did well to do the second ball toss there. It was a real slice serve out wide. Kostyuk couldn't even get to it. 40-30. Massive. In the other match, Ribikina, five love up against Siniakova. Battering her. Just misses down the tee with the serve. Yeah, good job. It was only a short button, I agree. <laughs> Emma serving. Second serve. Kostyuk gets it back in play. Okay, backhand to backhand. Now Emma goes into the forehand side of Kostyuk. She's on the stretch. Oh, Emma. She just tried to be a little bit clever with the chop and then chopped into the net. Yeah, I might be let off if it's 5-1, but it's juice now. It's worrying. Taylor Swift fandom saying, come on, Emma. Guys, if you are just joining, please hit a like on the video quickly. Only takes a second. Nice winner down the line from Radu Kanu. Brilliant stuff. Love to see that. Attack in tennis. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to Game to Love and hit the bell notification. You will get notified as soon as we go live for the Osaka match. She's up against Cerebras Tormo. And Cerebes Tormo, if there's enough time between matches, I'll get to make her button. It's halfway through it. Oh, she's hit the net cord, Raducanu. Kostyuk got there, and the umpire said, not up. Oh, good rally from both of these women now. Raducanu just looping it up a bit. Kostyuk now attacks the net. She gets the volley. It's a good volley as well. Well played, Kostyuk. Got her running around everywhere. She wants to avoid any baked goods. I'm sure Raducanu would love to dish one out for her. It is 15 love. Kostyuk serving into the backhand of Raducanu. Now the forehand side. And back to the forehand again. And again. Oh, and Kostyuk wild. The backhand. Flies wide. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Oh, Michael saying big foe was out of his league today on clay. Well, Sebastian Byers winning that tournament. Won't be the first. No, won't be the last, rather, tournament he wins. Backhand cross court from Raducanu. And again with a tighter angle. Slice from Kostyuk. Slice down into the forehand side now of Kostyuk. Emma attacks it. She backpedals, though, and it's good hitting from Kostyuk. She's got good depth on her shots. Raducanu chooses to go down the line. Kostyuk on the stretch. She goes drop shot. Really good point construction there from Raducanu. Maneuvered Kostyuk around the court. And two points away from... I, I might class this as one of her biggest victories, I'd say. I think this is a real signal of intent. Bear in mind, the last time they played, Kostyuk defeated her. I think it was 6-2, 6-1 as well. So maybe she just wants to get that one back. Kostyuk going out into the Raducanu backhand. There's not really the weakness. I don't know which side you go. Raducanu hitting it well off both wings. There's the drop shot from Raducanu. Kostyuk's in. Pushed it wide. The drop shot worked. And there we go. We've got our first. And there is two of them. Match points. Match points. Here we go.
Yeah, it was. It was 6-2, 6-1 the last time they met. And that was to Marta Kostyuk. This time, it could be to Emma Raducanu. Can she get it done the first time of asking? The serve's in. Good forehand. Oh, long. Looked like the connection was good. It wasn't good enough. Right. 30-40. Serve into Emma's backhand. She gets it in deep on the court. Now forehand into Emma's backhand again. That's uh, long. Emma's tightened up a bit on the uh, these match points, it seems. And two match points disappear. Red Devil saying, do you think that she can do well at Wimbledon? Or oh, asking a bit much. I think she can do well at Wimbledon for sure. She needs a good like, run of form leading into Wimbledon, though. That's what I'd say. I still think that there's going to be hell of a lot of pressure on her. But... It's not going to be any Russian players there this year. Oh, it's a double fault from Marta Kostyuk. She's just given her another match point. Match point. She's trying to loosen up her arms now, Emma. Can she do it? First serves in. Raducanu, good depth on the return. Kostyuk, great depth on hers as well. Both of them moonballing it. Raducanu not really wanting to hit through the ball. And she doesn't have to because Kostyuk's gone wide. And Raducanu, look how much it means to her as well. 6-2, 6-1. Fantastic win for the Brit. Yes, Emma Raducanu, she's done it. 6-2, six, 6-1. Six, six, what an incredible performance from her. Uh, and she will now go through to the next round where she will meet Kalanina, who has been... Well, doing the same thing, but she did the same thing to Garbinia Mugalutsa. She knocks her out, giving her a bagel in the meantime. But a breadstick seems good enough. She avenges her defeat from Cluj last year, uh, where she lost 6-2, 6-1 to Kostyuk. Now where uh, she looks like she's in a better place. And maybe it was uh, what she said on the day when she played her in Cluj. It was just a bit of a dodgy, I don't know, stomach or something. She had a bit of a stomach bud or some a bud, bug or something that day. She looked out of sorts. The body language wasn't right. Today, can't really fault her. Apart with the match points, she tightened up a little bit, but then she played much more sensibly on the final match point. Got it done. Well done, Emma. Really happy. She's made it through. And cheers here to Tennis Infinity saying an easy day in the office for Emma. See you during the Osaka stream. Really appreciate that. You'll be heading onto the top tippers leaderboard. Uh, can't thank you enough. That's really, really generous of you. Uh, it really does mean that. And thanks for becoming a member of the channel as well. As uh, the same goes to Almino too. Thanks to May for the nice donations as well. Uh, it really does mean a lot. So I'm not sure. Let's see if you can get onto the top tippers. Uh, oh, yeah, you can. You knock Arun off the top tepper's leaderboard. So there you go. Yeah, sorry, Arun. You will be moving down. They're just going to talk to Emma quickly now. Let's hear what she has to say. She, she was trying to play really aggressive in front of all you. So hope the whole crowd enjoyed it. Oh. It's all being translated now into uh, Spanish, obviously. Yeah, she's into the third round without losing a set. That's pretty good. She's saying it's her first clay court season. She's really enjoying it. She wants to try and stay on the uh, stay in Madrid for as long as possible. Yes, I think that you, sh you should stay in Madrid as long as possible. If she can do it, it would be great. She wants to know what do you want to say about the crowd? There's a lot of people out there supporting Emma Raducanu. Uh, look at that, a little bit of Spanish thrown in there. 
a bit of Gracias El Todo. <laughs> I like it. Well, she's trying to win over the Spanish crowd as well. She's won over a lot of the rest of the fans around the world. I'm going to wrap up this stream. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who did join me for this one. It was another Emma Raducanu masterclass. Is she back to her best? Is she back to the US Open standard? Fingers crossed. I'm hoping that she can go through further in the competition. She has Kalanina next round. It's a winnable uh, potential match. Who knows? It could be even maybe Jill Teichman, someone like that. After that, I feel that the, it's sort of opening up for a potential good run. But let's not look any further than Kalanina in the next round. She's a very, very good clay court player, uh, as proven in the last match. But thanks from me. I'm going to shoot off. Make sure to join us in an hour's time, just under an hour, actually, about 45 minutes, uh, 45, 50 minutes. Naomi Osaka, Sara Cerebres Tormo. Don't miss it. It could be one of those ones which goes on for quite some time and there could be some crazy things happening. I've just got a weird feeling about that one. I think Cerebres Tormo, she might be able to throw a spanner in the Osaka works. So I'll be cheering on Cerebres Tormo and JG. No doubt he'll be cheering on Naomi Osaka. But over and out for now, guys. See you soon.